Hello, and welcome to the Legal Value Network's Career Advanced Spotlight Series. Uh, today, we are welcoming Jonathan Sebreros, who is a pricing strategist with Baker & McKenzie. Jonathan, welcome. It is so great to see you. Thank you for having me, Marcy. It's a pleasure to be here. Wonderful, and we appreciate you taking the time to do this. Of course. So this is, as you know, about getting to know you and your career. So why don't we start there? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Baker McKinsey? Yeah, of course. Um, so as you mentioned, I'm a pricing strategist within the global pricing department at Baker McKinsey. Uh, the focus of the department is to support partners and business professionals in enhancing the pricing capabilities for those on the front lines in the 46 countries in which we operate in to face market challenges while also maintaining profitable growth within our relationships. And my role, as most of my roles in, in the past, is sort of a hybrid role in, in which part of it is the traditional sort of expected legal pricing role and the other part is the data analytics slash enablement component that we use to make informed business decisions. And uh, um, from the legal pricing perspective, I support uh, the strategy and renegotiation of fee arrangements that are commercially feasible and also fair both to the client and law firm that make sure to me that they both meet the business goals of both uh, organizations. And we mostly focus on uh, proactively managed clients and high value matters. So uh, yeah, that's the first component of my role. And as to the wide scale enablement platform, I support with the creation of more permanent and ad hoc tools and models that enable partners and client teams to create feasible pricing, track profitability, model different scenarios, and where needed, identify potential work streams that may need some attention. Fantastic. That is quite a list. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> it is I indeed. love that. So yeah. of all the things you do, what, what are the things that you find to be the most rewarding parts? I think in my case, I'm very lucky to work for a very large organization. So I get to work with colleagues uh, in all time zones and from all cultures, not only geographically, but I also get to support partners who are uh, professional, senior professionals who are very good at what they do. So the ability to offer some sort of guidance or advice directly is what makes my job very rewarding in, in, in that sense and valuable. It feels like I'm adding value to what I'm doing and to the great work that the lawyers are doing at our firm. Excellent. I love that. And I, I love the whole concept of adding value is such a, it does, it makes you feel good about, about what you're doing. So we all know, you know, career paths can unfold in a million different ways. So how has yours unfolded? Was this something that you aspired to and you expected to be doing when you started out? Yeah, actually at the risk of making a generalized assumption on behalf of all business professionals who work in the legal services industry, I think that not a lot of us, I certainly didn't think I was gonna end up working at a law firm unless you think of becoming a lawyer. Um, so no, I, I never pictured myself working in the legal service industry. In my case in particular, I majored in finance. And of course, right after graduating, my thought was, yeah, I'll major in finance and then go to Wall Street and I'll work there. <laughs> Where else would you go? <laughs> About a year into college, uh, I figured out it was not the work culture that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Corporate finance, it was. And no, it, it, I just I, I just got lucky to have landed a position um, in the legal services industry, which is something that I've enjoyed. And yeah, very unexpected. Excellent. And you mentioned culture, so that this. From your perspective, the culture in law firms is, is better than the culture in corporate finance. W what about that? I'm just curious. I know I'm throwing this out there too on the fly. Yeah, of course. I think there's a lot of uh, conceptions about both industries. In my case, well, I, I work with attorneys, but I've, I've heard stories about other law firms. In my case, I have been lucky 
that both at Baker McKenzie and then at Perkins Coie, which, which is a firm in which I started my pricing career, my legal pricing career, I had great experiences with both law firms. It was a very collegiate culture, uh, very amicable. Everyone respected everyone. There was very little sense of the division between the attorneys and then the staff. So in that sense, at both legal organizations that I worked for, I felt that the culture was welcoming enough um, for me, for someone who does not have a legal background. Excellent. That's fantastic. So I guess in the context of all you've learned through your career, can you, is there maybe one piece of advice that you would give to someone who is interested in getting into a role similar to yours? Yeah, I would say that in my case, when I started Baker McKenzie, I was in the finance department and there was always some interest in pricing. Um, I would say that just if, if there's an interest, just go ahead and take the risk because that now it's the time. As we all know, it's a very relatively new area, both within the law firm departments and, and in-house counsel for legal ops. So now is the time, if you really want to get into it, it's relatively easy to break into that industry because of it, it's the early stages of its maturity. Um, so if there's the interest, there's a big community like LVN, um, TBPI, the Law Vision Roundtables, and just to name a few, I, I'm sure I'm missing a lot, but there's a lot of resources out there that if there's the interest in breaking into the industry, there's a lot of pioneers and organizations that devote a lot of services in creating the infrastructure for professionals to become more better versed at um, working in our field. So networking is a big part of the industry, so take advantage of that. And now it's the time to do it. Fantastic. And I, I may not have touched on this with your background, but I know one of the questions that people often ask is, okay, what, what type of skill set or experience would I need to do what you do? Um, so is there something there that you can add? Yeah, of course. I think in my case, I was very lucky that at the beginning before joining the legal services industry, I was lucky to have been trained in business intelligence. And now the data analytics and all of that is, is, is a very sought after skill. Um, there are many ways to acquire those skills and those are skills that are learnable in, in my opinion. So being able to navigate data is, is, is crucial. And of course, you don't have to be a data wizard. It's just a matter of understanding how to um, manage multiple large data sets and interpret data try to derive insights and find patterns. And there's a lot of resources that are even free in which you can learn different technologies. So one of that would be, yeah, find a technology that, that one feels comfortable with and try to master it and then try to apply it into a business setting, whichever that is for your for whoever specific case. Excellent, I love the whole analytics concept. I know there's plenty of people who can, you know, do financial analysis, which is a little bit different than business analysis, right? So having a little bit of both where you can really put the puzzle pieces together. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, Jonathan, I really appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you so much. And we look forward to, I guess, if people are interested in reaching out to you for additional information. Are you willing to have those conversations or that outreach? Of course, yeah. I'm, I'm more than happy to, uh, to talk to anyone who's interested and offer however much I can offer and hoping that it will be helpful. So I can be reached out via LinkedIn, Jonathan Severos, or you can email me directly at uh, jonathan.severos at bakermckenzie.com. And I, I'd be more happy to connect with anyone who's interested in learning more about our field. Fantastic. Wonderful. Of course. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your time, Marcy. It's a pleasure.